So somebody who's following my videos, um, leave my comments, the comments that I had left on a, a video about the Royal Council of Churches, WCC. Um, and uh, actually that was also the, uh, well, I won't go into that because people might know, know too much about that. Oh yeah, again, I just want to state this. Nobody's brought this up yet, but... Um, well, maybe I shouldn't tell you the correct spelling of it because it would, uh, oh, okay. And not the correct spelling of this person. This, this person did the right thing, spelled correctly. He said, uh, Yusuf, that might be a giveaway right there. You will, uh, will you please do a video on the World Council of Churches? I watched the video you commented on. What the heck? Where are all these, were these, all, all these Orthodox, were all the, or, these Orthodox involved defrocked? What happened to them all? Uh, did the people in their parishes know? If this ever happened again, would I know? Uh, it doesn't surprise me one bit. It started in Chicago. Made the high the highest thrill, I'm sure. Uh, hmm. The World Council of Churches started in, uh, in Chicago. I, I didn't watch the full video. I only watched part of it, and I was so angry I had to stop. Um, so I just left a comment. Uh, how accurate that was, the video was, um, I'm not sure. But I know that when I was a uh, catechumen at the, um, the Antiochian Orthodox uh, Church, my subdeacon and my parish priest were mocking the world churches and said, yeah, it's, you know, we, we wound up pulling out of that because nothing good could come of that and there was no... Um, the reason why they got involved, I think, was pro-life issues, um, end-of-life issues, uh, poverty, uh, and, and and kind of went into it a little bit too wide-eyed, thinking, okay, we're going to get together, try to stop some violence, being able to talk, but you'd, you'd have people in there that were extremely liberal and, and would shut the ideas down or extremely uh, fanatical, like they would, uh, even with a woman's women's rights, like trying to get women, you know, trying to, you know, not against women getting beaten, you know, you'd have the Mus some Muslims saying, yeah, well, you can beat your wife, and then you'd have some, uh, some Christians who would take uh, verses of Paul in the old King James language, and, and Jacobean, it wasn't even Elizabethan, it was Jacobean, um, in, uh, I think it might have been Elizabethan as a throwback. It wasn't even of the time. Because Jacobean would be James, or James and Jacob are the same name. Uh, and they would uh, say, yeah, you can beat your wife or your kids, or they take the Old Testament super literally, or then you have the liberals saying, well, it's the culture. We can't affect the culture of Africans or, or people in the Middle East, even though the Middle East was Christian at one time. Well, it still is, but less so. Um, and, uh, would not, I mean, there was no, no way, there was no, uh, there, there was too many counterbalances so that nothing got done. Even, even the poverty people would know poverty because poor, Christ said, oh, the poor will always be with you. Well, that doesn't mean you shouldn't help them, but it, it you know, it does, you know, it does mean, you know, you just shouldn't strip the gold off of St. Peter's to pay for, uh, you know, people's food because there's the mansion. One thing that I would tell is, well, you rip all those churches down and sell them, okay, but then they would be rebuilt by even the poor giving money. The poor usually are more charitable than the rich. That's one thing. Again, the gospel shows that of the widow's might. Um, so there were some people who went in there naively that didn't know there were going to be African dancers inside of a church, and, you know, I mean, uh, what is it, uh, St. Mary Medjugorje, or not Medjugorje, um, oh, the one, the one that used to be the Temple of Venus, and they, they turned to a new church, uh, I forget the name of it, but yeah, they had, uh, the African voodoo ceremonies, and Rastafarian ceremonies, and Shinto ceremonies, and Buddhist ceremonies, and Hebridge, and it's just, 
you're doing that up on the altar. Why? Why is this happening? You know, um, that shouldn't be. There's no blending. Uh, Vatican II um, Catholicism is pretty abhorrent, and I, I don't view this as respectful as the World Council of Churches being respectful. It's uh, it's not recognizing that people's dogmas or doctrine, which everybody, oh, dogma is evil. It's, just learn the definition of dogma first. Um, or that people's uh, beliefs are different. Oh, well, we all just believe the same thing. You know, atheists, anti-theists, uh, fundamentalists, um, orthodox, uh, you know, they're, they're, they all believe the same thing. Well, no, you couldn't get uh, more different people or more different views in that they're uh, mutually exclusive, mutually contradicting, um, self-contradicting views. It's not, uh, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that an anti-theist does not believe the same thing as a fundamentalist. They may have the same attitude, which I would say they do have the exact same attitude in their fundamentalist, um, but they don't hold the same thing as a, uh, um, a Roman Catholic or a, uh, a Lutheran. And uh, Missouri Synod does not hold the same views as the ELCA, and uh, the ELCA does not hold the same views as the uh, Wisconsin Synod, and the Lutherans aren't the same as the Baptists, and the Baptists aren't the same as Eastern Orthodox, and Eastern Orthodox aren't the same as the, uh, the Jews, and the Jews aren't the same as the Muslims, and the Sunnis aren't the same as the Shia, and these are significant differences. Uh, so... From what I know, they pulled out. Uh, I'm not too happy with Metropolitan Philip right now, but I also recognize that the the um, community of people is much better and is the real source and the real font of truth, and it's not a bishop that happens to be there at the time or a Metropolitan. And there are good bishops under bad Metropolitans, and there are bad bishops under bad Metropolitans, and there are good Metropolitans with bad bishops underneath them. Uh, and they're good metropolitans with good bishops. As Christ said, they, they sit in the seat of the Pharisees. Do not act as how they act, but do as they do, they do as they they command. Uh, which it's not actually them commanding, and it's it's anything that goes contrary to what the Orthodox Church teaches that comes out of their mouth. Don't do. when when you see them going to the World Council of Churches. This doesn't mean uh, the Orthodox Church has lost its apostolic succession. It means that person is a bad leader in, of the church is a bad shepherd, is a bad overseer, has made bad decisions, but um, I don't know of any Orthodox that are in the World Council of Churches. I'd have to check. Um, and uh, there, you have Word Magazine coming out, what, every month? Um, and there's plenty of people who challenge things of, of what uh, especially Metropolitan Philip has done. Bishop Mark was pretty much they took off because he was not welcome anymore and he wouldn't even be able to set foot in some place like St. Mar Mary's in Elsip. Um, Chicago, if it did start in Chicago, especially if the Orthodox were there, well, Chicago because there's so many different faiths, Baha'is, I mean, it's one of the most uh, metropolitan cities in the world. Um, somebody told me Toronto, but I think religiously Chicago might be uh, more of a crossroads than anything. I mean, Zoroastrians, Hindus, and Tons of Muslims. I mean, there's and, and gigantic Hindu temples. Not to mention the, uh, the Roman Catholics, Eastern Orthodox, every single stripe, Oriental Orthodox of every single stripe. Um, I mean, you could just keep them in Shinto shrines, Buddhist, Bud every different form of Buddhist. I mean, not only Hinayana and Mahayana, but you know, Buddha, uh, Tibetan Buddhist. I lived two doors down when I was on the north, living on the north side of. Uh, of a uh, Vietnamese Buddhist uh, temple and shrine, the uh, the U Truk Temple or something like that. Uh, I remember one of the festivals that and I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, it's the New Year. This was in like, I don't know, hell, February or something, maybe or March. March. Yeah. February or March, I think it was. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, that's, that's awesome. You know, it was pretty warm out now when they're doing it. Um, I will look deeper into this, I promise you. But since I I uh, checked out this message, I figure I should get back to it immediately. But uh, remember, the floor of hell is paved with the skulls of bishops. Um, and about the monk that went down to hell, he saw his uh, his 
par parish priest and, and up neck deep in lava. He says, Father, how are you neck deep in lava? And he says, because I'm standing on the shoulders of the bishop. So uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church always keeps an eye on the bishops and always um, a very, uh, they look, we look at the bishop with respect, but also severe skepticism. This is one reason why um, in the East the, the bishops cannot be married because the amount of focus and stress that's on the wife of a priest, I mean, she has the role, she has a role of honor, but also the scrutiny that goes to her is, is, is pretty heavy. But for a bishop, it would be even much more because the bishops, we always scrutinize the bishops. We're not like in the uh, Western Roman Catholic uh, um, way of viewing them of, oh, it's he, the Pope is the vicar of Christ, and these people have a direct contact. We all have direct contact. It's it's, it's the way of uh, the economy of the church, the, the handling the ho of house rules in, in the church, the, the bishop, and the, bi the metropolitans, the bishops, the primate, the patriarchates, and the priests tend to. So, um, but don't ever think that they are over us. The true, the true, um, Font of the orthodox, font of the orthodox, and, and the true keepers of orthodoxy are the grandmothers and the mothers. Um, so don't let that, uh, don't let this shake you too much. Um, look how much I speak against the bishops, and you don't see me stripping my icons down or anything like that. I will, I will speak against because they, their their feet are held to, to be held to the fire much more than anybody else. I will check into this and I will make a uh, part two to this video. Thank you for asking these questions. It's, a, it's an important question and um, to see that said and being outraged me too. Um, but currently, at least for the Antiochians, as of 05, it was not going on. Um, if they re-entered it and they're stupid, but you, that keeps you from going to your local, your local parish. Not one bit. Um, uh, people know how obscene it is and how stupid it is. And, we will never be in communion with Rome. We will never be in communion with the Lutherans or the Anglicans, and uh, they must uh, come under us. Uh, there is no recognizing the truth in them, and them recognize no. There is there is one truth, and we believe we have held that undefiled. Um, so this is why I can say with no uh, hypocrisy, I can I can say that those beliefs are blasphemous and heretical. But I can also look at across the battlefield ideas and see that persons penetrated through those heresies with sheer love, and those heresies were, were not out of um, uh, they didn't come from true heresy. They came out of absolutely no access to to uh, the true church and saying, well, they they are mystically part of the church. Um, but the Pope in Rome knows better, knows a lot, knows orthodoxy truly, and. Uh, I hear Benedict is moving back to it. Uh, I think the Roman Catholics are always going to be part of the World Council of Churches. Uh, it's mainly been taken over by liberals. But that's another thing, is that uh, when the, the true believers left, they handed the power over to, to the uh, liberals. And uh, it's uh, it's sad. It's kind of like the Anglican Church. This is the sadness of, of the, the Episcopalian Church, not what gets called the Anglican, but... Uh, of Canterbury, they would see these some of these uh, of these um, these uh, heretics and liberals come to power and become bishops, and the true believers would break off, and then the true believers who were kind of moderates would then, after a while, break off, and then then the the still Christian, but even even moderate, but but still holding to the creeds, would break off, and now you have a totally liberal Canterbury and. The Anglican Church, which is a break off of the Episcopalians, which is the old Anglican, are now in Africa and Southeast Asia and are having to come back and re evangelize the Episcopalians. Um, so, there is, when we do cede from the discussion, it does hand over power. This is why I think the schismatics, some of them should be outside of the church, but some people who are, are swayed by their argument should actually be inside the Orthodox Church to hold the faith firm. Um, so I'll, I'll look into this more and make a part two. Peace to you. Thank you for the question. I know it's very shocking and saddening to me too. God's Serbia and Syria. <sighs> yeah, um, that's, uh, that was uh, very disgusting and, and hard for me. Well, I couldn't even watch the whole thing. It, it just it, it boiled my blood. Um, peace to you. I noticed it was an Orthodox speaking out against this. There's no other videos like this. 
it was actually the Orthodox. I, was, I hope it wasn't a uh, Taliban Orthodox or what gets called true Orthodox, which is no true Orthodox, which is Roak and schismatic. If you notice my con, and say this repulses me, but so does Roak. So it's also those people who say, well, nobody, you know, if that's how one, that's how the bishops act. And the last, I was, I was very happy until I, you know, there's Ignatius there, which, um, the first meeting they went to, which that was the first thing you could forgive them. But after that, you can't, because they didn't know what was going on, and they're bishops, so they can't be like, oh, yeah, you know, and act, act all, um, you know, uh, but anything past that. And I think they went there to, you know, kind of uh, address certain things, you know, end-of-life issues, beginning of life issues uh, and poverty and it went nowhere and when I uh, in, at least when I talked about it with uh, with my subdeacon my priest by 05 it was they had left and they never it was it was more of mocking the World Council of Churches thing of, uh, kind of they didn't know what they were stepping into um, and it, it repulsed many Orthodox and still repulses me to this day uh, but I will check into it and make a part two to this or a follow-up. He's brought this up yet, but um, well, maybe I shouldn't tell you the correct spelling of it because it would uh, oh, okay. And not the correct spelling of this person. This, this person did the right thing. Spelled correctly. He said uh, Yusuf. That might be good way right there. You will uh, will you please do a video on the World Council of Churches? I Watched the video you commented on. What the heck? Where are all these? Were these all, all these Orthodox? Were all the, or, the so somebody has found my videos? Um, <laughs> my comments, the comments that I had, had left on a, a video about the World Council of Churches, WCC. Um, and. Uh, Actually, that was also the, uh, well, I won't go into that because people might know, know too much about that. Oh, yeah, again, I just want to state this. Nobody's Orthodox involved defrocked. What happened to them all? Uh, did the people in their parishes know if this ever happened again? Would I know? Uh, it doesn't surprise me one bit. It started in Chicago. It made the high the highs thrilled, I'm sure. Uh Hmm. The World Council of Churches started in, uh, it's I, I didn't watch the full video. I only watched part of it. Um, the reason why they got involved, I think, was pro-life issues, um, end-of-life issues, uh, poverty, uh, and, and, and kind of went into it a little bit too wide-eyed, thinking, okay, we're going to get together, try to stop some violence, being able to talk, but you'd, you'd have people in there that were extremely liberal and, and would shut the ideas down or extremely uh, fanatical like they would uh, even with a woman's women's rights like trying to get women and I was so angry I had to stop um, so I just left a comment uh, how accurate that was the video was um, I'm not sure but I know that when I was uh, catechumen at the, um, the Antiochian Orthodox uh, Church My subdeacon and my parish priest were mocking the world churches and said, "Yeah, it's you know we we wound up pulling out of that because nothing good could come of that, and there was no 